You cannot win the war against the world if you can't win the war against your own mind. Self-discipline is the center of all material success. 99% of people are not willing to do what it takes to make their dreams come true. The Marines have a saying, everybody wants to go to heaven, but nobody wants to die. And that's just real. At the center of bringing any dream into fruition is self-discipline. Something as simple as food and eating is not about your, your body as much as it is about your mind. It's getting command of your mind to be able to choose actions that are in your own best interest. And a lot of people are just trying to change a lot of times. Like I just did a podcast on habits, right? How to be able to um, adopt new habits and also delete and get rid of you know, break bad habits, right? And so a lot of people always want to make it, usually make a change on behavior. They want to get themselves to work out. They want to get themselves to meditate. They want to get themselves to read more each day. They want to get themselves to X, right? Or they want to stop some behavior. They want to stop smoking. They want to stop eating this food. They want to stop, I always tell people, stop checking your phone the first hour of the day. You know, you've heard this many times, right? You win the first hour of the day, you win the day. Every day, we are choosing shit that's not in our own best interest, right? So if the world is attacking you and the world wants to fight you and the world's trying to hold you down, so you're gonna kick yourself in the balls? So you gonna stop yourself from getting what you dream? When I wanna transform or transcend or make a real positive change, I'm looking at all the other areas of ourself. So I'm looking at, for example, our environment. Are, you, are people setting up their environment to win? At, at a, you know, so, so change doesn't just happen at this level of behavior, but what you have to change the environment. So for example, if you want to stop eating a certain food, it helps to be able to have not, that, not have that food in your home, right? So you change the environment. In life, we must all suffer one of two pains. The pain of discipline or the pain of regret. I'm asking you, choose wisely. So whatever it is that you're trying to achieve in life, the critical component is getting things done and getting things done in a systematic way. Building the character that's associated with getting things done in a systematic way requires that you become disciplined. And if we live a lazy, undisciplined life and we just give in to our feelings and we act on these emotional impulses, we're going to make very poor choices that we regret later on. We would be much better off to just discipline ourselves right now so that later on, we don't have to carry that heavy load of regret. I think a lot of people suffer from decision-making fatigue, right? That, and this is very strong research saying that you can only make a certain amount of good decisions a day. And after that is spent, you can't anymore. And that's really been fine-tuned in the, in the medical field with surgeons and such, in terms of seeing their, you know, where they're making their errors and stuff with, with um, early on in the day or later in their days and stuff like that. But we all, as entrepreneurs or as employees and executives or as parents, we all can make a certain amount of decisions. And that's why, you know, People like Mark Zuckerberg or Tony Shea, they wear the same t-shirts and, sh and sweatshirts all the time because they don't want to spend, you know, use up one of their decisions thinking, oh, what am I going to wear today, right? right? And so my, my goal is to streamline my, my life, put the routines the first hour of the day and the last hour of the day. I really micromanage to the point where it's habitual. I don't even have to think about it. And then because those are the times of the day where I can really have the most impact because later on in the middle of the day, you know, team members need this, there's firefighting this, client needs that. But the first hour, the last hour, I really want to control. So all this really helped develop grit and resilience, you know, in my body so I can have the ability to persevere. And also I stand guard to my brain all the time what goes in. You know, I don't watch like a lot of the negative news and all the market. I, I really focus like, you know, I, I, I watch and I listen to your show and maybe a handful of little of things I read each day because I need to keep it positive. I want hope and I'm looking for help. I'm looking for inspiration and also instruction. Self-discipline is the definition of self-love. When you say that you love yourself, that means that you have behavior towards yourself that is love. It's like you say to yourself, hey man, look, I know you want to eat that pizza and it'll be really good, you know, but 
I can't let you eat that, man, because if, if you eat that pizza, you're going to feel like shit. You know, and I, I, I just, I love you too much to let you eat that. And I think the word discipline has kind of gotten a, a bad name. We think about it in terms of punishment. I'm not, I'm not talking about discipline in that way. I'm talking about discipline in the sense that you, you forego immediate pleasure for the exchange of long-term self-respect. Self-love is when you say to yourself, oh, man, look, I know you and that girl got a real connection. Um, I know y'all vibe, but that's your girl's cousin. So I love you too much to let you do that. Self-love is, hey, look, I know you got a, a, a test on Monday, you know? I know you really want to go out with your friends. It's Saturday night, you want to go out, but if you fail that test, you're not going to feel good about yourself. You know, I just, I love you too much to let you go out tonight. Self-discipline is self-love. If you want to be happy, you have to love yourself, which means you have to discipline your behavior. The road to sustained happiness is through disciplining your behavior.